Hi Capricorn, thank you for joining me for this uh, You Are Meant to See These Messages reading. Uh, my spirit guides prompted me to um, label these readings that to get your attention. So I have messages from your spirit guides, messages from your galactic team of light. Um, I thought Brutus was going to join us for the reading, but instead, which one is this? This is Princess joining us? Yes, this is Princess. Willow, Willow, this is Willow, so we got some feminine dog energy, dog energy for your even short reading with Brutus, my boyfriend, could you stop licking me, it's weird, I love you too girl, so yeah, I, wa I was an unexpected surprise, she just pushed my door open, you know, and I've got this owl over my shoulder here, Capricorn, which is owl is a, like you're at a crossroads maybe in your life and you know there's it's signaling some sort of change pay attention to your intuition pay attention to the signs thank you darling for gracing us with your presence now we'll see i'm gonna have dog energy it's 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 a bit chaotic at the beginning of this reading here I'm going to I'm gonna link two videos together because I'm going to go take care of the dogs. There's a message in that. I'm going to go take care of the dogs, and I'll be right back, okay? Because I'm not having them bark and bark while I'm trying to deliver my messages here. Stand by, Platoon. Okay, I'm back, Capricorn. I'm sorry for that pause, but I'll, I'll look at this, too. Like, seriously, I can't even... Look at the light shining through after that. Okay, so getting some sort of epiphany, the, the light at the end of the tunnel. Look at the light on my face, on my crown. It's a reflection off a car that's right outside my window here. I will lean forward for the rest of the reading, but that was purposeful too. I was talking about the owl and an omen of change and the light pour. You're at a crossroads possibly in your life. You need to trust your intuition. Blinded by this light, the light, it's blinding. And as I came back into my reading room to do this reading, I also plugged in little twinkle fairy lights, little white lights, bringing light into the room is what I thought. I need to bring light into this room. Look at the golden light now. Look, holy crapola, like what is going on? Ah. Okay, my nose is itching. When I, when I itch my nose, that's the truth. That's the truth. I love you, goats. This is a general reading. Take what resonates, leave the rest. I'm in some rare form right now, but I'm getting messages, man. And so will you. That's why it's like this, okay? Oh, would you please stop tickling my nose, itching my nose? It's just, okay. <sighs> if you want your own personal private reading, it's a trip, man. I send you your own personal link. It's like I'm sitting there talking to you, okay? When I pull in just your specific energy, yeah, it's, I tend to blow people's minds a bit. I think there's sometimes some hesitancy to get one of my readings because it's like, well, she, I'm, I am that sister, I am that friend, I am that motherly energy too that's going to tell you what your heart needs to hear. I'm not going to beat around a bush either. And some people are willing to accept it. Some people aren't. I don't know why I'm talking about this, but maybe it's pertinent for some of you goats out there. We're going to get into your affirmations first. Okay, we've got Oracle cards, and then I used my Akashic Record Tarot today. And that will be the last part of the reading. Um, I do believe that, like, our past lives selves even help us in this present moment. Okay, and so... We all have this info, this access to this information, the Akashic Records, like filing cabinets, okay, um, where we can tap into to wisdom that we've gained in pe previous lives. We can do past life regressions, things like that. Maybe this is speaking to some of those Capricorns out there. That I feel almost orange with that light. Make, giving me a Willy Wonka vibe up in this place. I don't know what's going on here. I felt Oompa Loompa like that was an Oompa Loompa moment. Look, like, yeah. <laughs> and now my belly's growling. What is going on, Capricorn? Okay, let's see here. Belly growling. Understand your body. Okay. 
This is a green card. This is from your guides today. And so it's showing a heart healing for you. Okay. That's the green color, unconditional love. But look at, if you look at this closer, look at how it's, there's like graphing or can, yeah, like your heart is connected to everything. Okay. So when you go through this transformation, this healing from within, then your outer world too is changing. So you actually chose this body. You may call it a body suit, a meat suit. Some of us are so harsh and how we speak to our body, but you actually chose your specific body for the mission that you're on on earth, Capricorn. And so love and nurture your body temple, okay? It, it was designed just for this divine path, for the blueprint that you chose, okay? You, where you grew up, where you were born, where, uh, what gender you are, um, what what sexual sexuality you have what you know all that the way that you look all that you like it was all you you picked it so it's important for you to um listen to your body okay it's a finely tuned in instrument okay um, to have this valuable experience in this physical dimension, your soul needs a body. The decision as to which vehicle um, will best fulfill your soul's blueprint is of utmost importance. A lot of humans ask, what is my purpose? And the biggest clue is looking back at you in the mirror. Understand this, your higher self and your guides help select a body that is solely created by nature. The body, its genetics, race and gender, sexual orientation and ge geographic location are of the earth dimension. The spirit realms do not control these things. But these factors are known to your higher self and guides before you incarnate. As an analogy, if you want a car that's a brand new blue convertible with a V8 engine, you don't get inside of a used green minivan and will it to change. What you do is this. You go searching for the car that will fulfill your needs. That's why it's important to know and understand your body. It provides insight as to what lessons you are here to learn. When this card appears in your spread, ponder this. Why was this body chosen? Great, great question for journaling. Great question to ask yourself in meditation. Okay, there is a need for self-love and grounding. This is from the Earth Magic deck. The tree and the grounding. The tree is about wisdom, too. It's it's showing that same graphing in this card. Wisdom, knowledge, as above, so below, as within, so without, so the universe, so the soul. Think about the tree and how it is connected with other trees as well. Okay? The connection here that I see in the sky, the connection, it's the same in both of these cards here. Okay? Connect with some trees, Capricorn, and pour more love into your own cup here. Self-love, critical. I know a lot of us teachers or even in the spiritual community, you hear that preached a lot. And, you know, because it is important. <laughs> All our relationships in our life stem from the one that we have with ourselves. And so can you, you know, like, do you enjoy your own company? Do you take that time to nurture your inner child and your... Those needs, are you taking the time to stimulate, stimulate your mind, you know, in a healthy way? How are you, what are you consuming? What are you putting into your body? There's a big focus on that here. As you grow, as you ascend, because growing is the next card. Let's see what self-love says here. Today, I love myself fully. I accept myself exactly as I am. I am able to recognize my own divinity and to appreciate the purity of my soul. I take the time to care for myself. I enjoy myself. I nourish myself. I am kind to myself. I am grateful for who I am. Beautiful. And growing. Today I understand that I am here to learn, to discover, and to grow. Um, when I nourish myself with my inner light, my inner divinity grows. When I study the messages that life brings me, I am improved in the eyes of God. I am 
when I strike a balance between the material and spiritual worlds, I am freed of inner conflicts. In these ways, I grow my own soul. Continuously talking about nourishing, nourishing the body. This one too, nourishing, okay? Freeing yourself from inner conflict. There's a connection with water here being shown, okay, in both of these cards. And that inner peace is coming to, like, there's water here to windows being depicted here. It's like a window of time, a window of opportunity, the light shining through the window over here, okay. The horse speaks to freedom, attaining peace here. Beautiful imagery. Beautiful. This was... These were cards from your galactic team of light that is supporting you, okay? When I strike a balance between the material and spiritual worlds, I am freed of inner conflicts. Okay, and the grounding was the earth energy supporting you. Um, there is a situation that is changing. That's why it's important for you to remain. What are your roots, Okay. Your spiritual practices, your mindfulness practices, connecting, getting out and connecting with nature, with sun energy, okay? But clouds is the underlying energy from the earth magic deck. So shape-shifting. Things are shape-shifting. A new life is being born. A new you is born, okay? Abundance is your birthright is from your guides as well. Possess self-confidence and feel joy in all that you do, darlings. Look at all that orange energy. Lots of orange energy here. Okay, and so now let's talk about <clears throat> the Akashic Records uh, tarot that wanted to come out today. And you have some powerful energy here, Capricorn, for new beginnings. You have the Ace of Wands out. So... In this deck, it's called the One of Forces, okay? It's showing a picture of um, the Northern Lights energy here. But it's also showing, it feels this like this shape-shifting energy as well, that things are coming into form, your manifestations. This is usually creative adventures too, like for my entrepreneurs out there. It also, it's something you're very passionate about. Um, so it could be a new relationship as well. Okay. The Ace of Wands, the Akashic field. So remember at the beginning of this reading that I did specifically say that we all have this access to the Akashic records. And here it comes out right away, the One of Forces. And then we've got the King of Forces which is the King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. And they want me to read to you about this king. It could be a masculine uh, in your life who is um, very attractive, has this charisma about them. I mean, look at how he, he's a force to be reckoned with, is what I call this masculine here. Like the presence to be able to stand next to these wild creatures here, the wolf, the rabbit, right? Like in the, in the stag, like these could be power animals for you at this time as well. These are all, I mean, this the alpha wolf. Who are you without the pack? Right. But also can be another representative of dog energy here. The self care, the loyalty of self, the love for self, right? But look at the forces of water below, the forces in the heavens above, as above, so below, as within, so without. It's being depicted here. This is about being a priest, priestess energy, being a leader, leading with nobility, grace, and compassion. The rabbit is like being able to move quickly, pounce upon opportunity, right? He knows he attracts it into his life. He attracts these magical moments. Um, <clears throat> and then I have the five of scrolls, which is, um, the five of swords in this deck. So, but in, 
I see it, how I read this deck is this is about learning some sort of wisdom. The scrolls. Scrolls is about wisdom. Okay. And fives are about change. And it's showing this woman here. In a typical tarot, when we think about five of swords, it's like there's some sort of mental battle. Even mind games, mental manipulation of sorts. Okay. Um stuck up in the head about something and this is the five of scrolls here is showing a woman by herself and a card is calling diversity called diversity and all these scrolls being depicted it's like a time in your life where you're wanting to diversify opening up to change opening up to things that interest you creative new opportunities here okay Maybe it's been a time away from people, from society as well. There's books on the floor here. Okay, it's a very rural setting. Maybe going back to school, uh, studying at home. Or a job from home. You know, you're wanting to grow and diversify um, within your connections as well. Like, maybe like people that you date. Open to change here. And uh, this beautiful card of judgment coming out. In this deck, card 20, is, is called Will, Wisdom, and Mind. And I'm going to read you that one. Because I feel like you're going through a major part of your awakening when this comes out, when the judgment cards out, card card comes out. It's like, it's like that light that was shining in on me to begin with in this reading. Okay. After taking care of some sort of business, right? I had to take a pause. I had to go take care of the dogs. See, they've been quiet now, right? And the dogs is about loyalty and self care. Okay, and that's that focus here and understanding your body and how it's talking to you and the need for you to always remain grounded. You are an earth sign Capricorn. Okay, and now you are wanting to diversify and that you're excited about new beginnings. Um, I just feel like I'm talking to somebody who... I don't know with this King of Wands. There's so much diversity with this King of Wands. Because the diversity card came out too. Like science -y things and the stars that are here. And um, yeah, so I don't know what that's about. Okay, lucid dreaming even is coming out with that. Okay, so will and wisdom. My nose is itching while I say that. I'm talking to somebody out there. Mm. could stop making my nose itch that would be great because I really don't need to be <sighs> itching my nose <sighs> come on I know Capricorn you want me to get with it I'm trying I'm trying I love you guys the power heart and mind of God dwell within you close your eyes and feel these divine forces your energy grows your heart overflows with love and your mind is about is as boundless as the sky fill yourself expand to limitlessness darling just feel that sky right right this sky oh that's that's so good the divine forces that i feel like this masculine is here okay recognize your divinity so this is um a celtic knot and the symbols for fire and water and the crown here i'm um, talking about your divinity and then the three-legged symbol is the coat of arms from the isle of man okay this card brings with it a time of enormous power, balance, and expression. The first three rays or the energies of the divine move within you equally. Power and will, love and wisdom, and intellect or mind. You are working intimately, even if you're not conscious of it, 
with the Ascended Masters who are linked to these energies. With the participation of the Masters, you can raise your focus to a higher power and purpose. You can combine the fire of creativity with the water of receptivity in order to make your contribution to the world. With the gold crown raised high, you're likely to find yourself in a significant position of authority and influence at this time. It is likely to be a phase of great activity, but you can handle it. With these powers in, in play, you're able to, to discipline yourself to bring together the meditation, creativity, rest, and action required. Take advantage of this time and use these powers well. They are nothing less than the divine forces moving through you so that you can manifest their power in the world. There's this, like, I felt like this, this is like there's a divine force, I, I, there's a divine force to reckon with. He, she, they, whatever. Like, diversifying a business here as well, okay? After a lot of research, a lot, there's, there's a lot of wisdom behind this, and it's, it's divine, Okay? Yeah, a gold crown of power and authority rests above a Celtic trinity knot. On either side of the knot are the alchemical symbols for fire and water. Okay? So, combine the fire of creativity with the water of receptivity in order to make your contribution to the world. Okay? And know that abundance is your birthright. You are closely working with the Ascended Masters at this time. I mean, you have valuable resources at, at hand. With the underlying energy here of card number two, they're going to do all the twos here for you. Okay. Um, Master Builder is 22. This is the High Priestess energy. This is, you are a keeper of some sort of secret knowledge as well. I mean, you got Hilarion. Okay, they want, I mean, seriously, they're just making this too. So cutesy pie. 2525. Two, five. Okay. All that wisdom and resources at your fingertips here. Hilarion is one another ascended master, bringing about some sort of change. Research, study, there's spirit here helping, okay? Yes, trust in divine timing, do your research, share your wisdom. The Akashic Library is yours to open up. I mean, I know this... You either are still here or you're not. You know what I mean? Or you're, people already checked out if I'm in life. That was some, that's for some sort of spiritual warrior, light worker out there, uh, high priest, priestess, who gets me and gets my language. Okay, so that was a beautiful reading today. I'm going to leave it there. Um, I love you guys, and um, if you want your own reading, remember to reach out to me. If you drop a comment below, that gets you entered into the chance to win a free reading from me. Each month, I give one of those away, so I appreciate your comments. I read every one of them. I love the interaction. Thanks for those good karma donations, and big hugs to you. I love you, Capricorn.